Hey guys, welcome back to Crown Geek. This is Shabazz. In this video, we will be talking that how to fix Microsoft Edge closed unexpectedly on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm going to share six effective methods that you need to try one by one and it will take about three to four minutes and your problem will be resolved. So let's move with the number one where we need to close and quit Microsoft Edge completely from the task manager. So right now you can see my edge is up okay and i am on my windows 11 and this method will be working on both on windows 10 and windows 11 okay so let me close this edge browser and now i need to go to task manager so you can just type windows nr and type task mgr or you can also use the shortcut key that is uh, control shift and delete so now once you are in the task manager, you just need to go to details. And here you need to look for edge. Though in my case, I have already closed, but in your case, you might see some of the file of Microsoft Edge. So if you see that, just make a right click on it and then click on end process tree. Once done, just close everything and then move to the number two that is disabling all the edge extension. So how you have to do, you just open your edge browser again. Now on the very right in top, you will see the three dot sign, just click on it and then choose extension. Now in extension, you will see uh, the one which you have installed. I have only one, so it's not showing all of them. So you can just try disabling by clicking on the toggle switch. And I would also recommend that you should either go with remove. Okay, if it's not of very use, you can like you can just download it back again. You can install it back again in the future. But as of now, you go with remove. Okay, click on it and then click on remove. So you have to do with all the extension that you have installed in your Microsoft Edge. So I will click on remove. And now you will see, you just have to keep doing until you see this empty list. Okay. So once you are done with this, we have to move to the number three, that is clearing the cache and the cookies. So here only just click on the three dot, then click on settings and then privacy search and services. Now here you will see clear browsing data, click on choose what to clear and just select all time and now here you have few options so i would say that take browsing the history download history just leave password and autofill form, autofill form data and rest you can check and then click on clear now so you can just customize this you it's all up to you if you want to leave any specific option you can leave it and once done click clear now so this will also help us to fix a problem and once you are done with this, we also need to make sure that the Edge browser is up to date. So if it's not updated, outdated Microsoft Edge or any corrupted file that, that can also create such kind of problem like closing Microsoft Edge all the time. Okay, so how you can update it, click on the three dot again, hover up to help and feedback and then click on about Microsoft Edge. And here, once you come in the about section, it will start checking for the update and if it's all, all updated, it will give you this message Microsoft Edge is up to date. And if not, then it will show you the available update option. You can go with it. So once you have checked this, then we have to reset Microsoft Edge. So simply in the search settings, just type reset. And you will be getting restore settings to their default values. Click on it and then click on reset. Now, depending upon the data, it may take some time and once done, it will give you the confirmation settings where reset. And now close the browser, close Microsoft Edge and check whether this fix the problem or not. So still, if you have the same trouble, in case if this doesn't work for you, all these five methods, then we have the sixth solution that is most effective. And how we have to do that is re-registering the Microsoft Edge browser. So for this, we have to do it in two steps. First, we have to delete it. 
from the path and then we need to re-register it so i will you just need to close everything now press windows and r key just type percent local app data then percent again and then on enter and here click on the p key to just come to packages double click on it and then we need to look a microsoft file so click anywhere once and then press the letter m key and now we need to look for microsoft dot microsoft edge this one so you need to find this microsoft dot microsoft edge underscore a w e k y so just click on it and then make a right click on it and then choose properties so make sure that you just uncheck this option then click on apply and ok and here if it asks you apply changes to this folder subfolder and file so click on ok and now make a right click on it and then choose delete so on windows 11 you will get this icon but on windows 10 you will be getting the delete option in this following list so click on delete and once it's been deleted just close it and now we need to re-register it okay so just come to your search box type powershell now in case of windows 10 you will be getting the search icon here you can search it from there and choose run as administrator give the permission by clicking on yes and now here simply you need to copy the code and paste here and that code you will be finding in the description box and once you paste the code simply hit on enter and this will start just re-registering the microsoft edge browser so once it's been done you simply close it and close your microsoft edge and restart your computer once you restart and once you open your microsoft edge i'm very sure that this is gonna help you and fix your microsoft edge closing unexpectedly problem issues on your microsoft edge browser so if this video is helpful guys do not forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video